Welcome back everyone, Criminal Archer here, time for some more maze. So we are here in uh, Bob's room, I guess. But I don't think we can do anything right now. Got a screen here that doesn't work. Got like the thing that we can't do anything with, so we'll just head back out for now. What you got for me? We're missing a plant of some variety and a ball of some variety. I want to go this way. I want to look a little closer at these things. The giant statue of Bob, what appears to actually be a small statue of Ted, which is impressive. What is this? Sturdy box. This is absolutely positively the sturdiest box you'll ever find, except for the one you see immediately after you you pick this one up. You now have what is known as boxer's remorse. All right. So Bob, what do you think of this? See that what the See what you've driven me to, jerk. Hi, Ted. This is great. Really excited to see you get in the spirit of things. I added one of mine so we could be side by side. Really think it balances the space well. Alright, so this box just goes right there. There you go. Let's go down this hallway first. Cafeteria. All right. Water co. Anything over here? Oh, plastic plant. Don't take so many useless things, idiot. Bob, where is that idiot Fernando hiding? I told him to refill the coffee trolley with with Ranka weeks ago. If you find him, put him to work and do some yourself, buffoon. Locked kitchen can be opened from the kitchen. Just climb through the window. <laughs> I don't think that's allowed. Oh well. All right. So this is the plant. What does this say about it? You'd think this particular particular plastic plant was perfect, if not for the garish pot it was attached to. We have an unnatural hatred for clay pots of every size, shape, and color. Damn clay pots! I think they're so clever. There you go. Anywhere to go down here? Nope. Alright, so we gotta go downstairs, I guess. Just looks like it's right here. Assistance office. What is this? Coffee trolley. Out of coffee. The medicine ball. You could have taken a much lighter ball for this particular task, but you thought that would require a grasp of logic that you don't really have. All right, got a whole bunch of notes to read here. Oh man, daily planner first. 1988. The final note consists of six appointments: 9 a.m. Do nothing. 11 a.m. Pick up new fedora and glove. Noon. Torture stupid corn for amusement. Three. Hide to avoid work. 5.45. Torture corn. 6 p.m. Initiate master plan. So that's the guy, dead guy we found up higher. Hi, Fernando. Could you be a pal and place your the tour brochures across the facility? There's only a few hundred, so you sh you, you'll be able to do that in no time flat. Fernando, you cretin, ignore that idiot Bob's request. What's What you really need to do is sort the samples in the genetics lab from the least reactive to most. So go do it. Hey, Fernando. You got a more important job for you than that. Need the statue directly above you. Moved about an inch or so. Scaffolding is already set up, so, you've, so you'll finish in about an hour or so. Thanks. Fernando, you lazy oaf. Don't touch that statue. We don't need yet another insurance claim. Instead, go to the f second floor of the barn and observe the corn's behavior in their habitat for several days. And don't move a muscle. That'll throw off the data. Hi, Fernando. Don't worry about that observation stuff. The corn, w corn will take their own notes. Really need you to hang about a few, d hang about a few dozen pa paintings that just came in. Be a pal and set that up. 
Would you please? Thanks. Fernando, you twit. Don't lift a finger for those paintings. Instead, use this pen. Draft. Use this pen. Draft a letter for me. Dear Bob, you are a nitwit and an idiot. Cordially, Ted. The One Second Assistant. A peculiar book on how to be an assistant in the workplace whose end appears to, to be to do as little work as possible. Chapters include how to shred everything, an intro into hiding in the office, and shifting the blame to the intern. Oh, what's this? The master plan. Hoo-hoo. Appears to be the only thing... Appears to be the only thing Fernando and the founder's assistant put any effort into, aside from shredding important documents and wearing fancy fedoras and gloves. It's a very poor plan involving jumper cables, a strange lightning rod, and somehow turning into an all-powerful god. Notes read that the stupid corn told me their secret, and Bob and Ted will now be my assistants. Be my assistants now. Whatever. I inverted it. What are you going to do about it? Alright, so let's put this on the workbench. Okay, what now? There we go. Hmm. Can't do anything with this right now? I can do something with that. Still need something, some sort of ball. That was going to be this ball, but apparently not. Hmm. I missed something somewhere. Atari. Nothing in here. Can't do anything in here. Can't open the toilet. It's a ball again. Run down here and double check. I don't think there's anything. Nope, nothing here. Go back downstairs in a second if we have to. There's something in here. There's a lot of crap around in here. It seems like a likely place for me to forget something. Door I can't open. Can't get back there. Don't see anything that looks like a coffee cup or anything that I can move. Right, so let's go this way. Let's go back this direction because we have not been over here in a while. Aha, red marker, that'll do it. Almost missed it. Go draw a face on that ball. There we go. Here's to be, you took drawing lessons from a leather couch. All right, do that and press the button. Okay. Looks like dead to me. Oh, hang on. That does not sound good. Aha! I finally found you! You've fallen into my clutches, just like all the others. I must say, I'm quite disappointed. I thought you were more clever, more interesting. But no matter. Now, your suffering will be so incomprehensible that your small mind will Stupid break! Stupid plant, why is your face like that? What is that? Your stupid face is very bad. Dumb plant. Is that on purpose? <laughs> Shut up, you mean furry stupid! How dare you! I am the pinnacle of my race! 
You will pay for this insult. Let me just. What's up, boy? Oh, get it some new chicken. You ain't see law. Chief! If biting is cheating, I win by the fault. Ha 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 ha! Your plans have been foiled by my plans, which are better than yours, you dummy! Ha 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 ha! Hmm. And I am most certainly not retreating. Ha 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 ha! You know, this place is filled with idiots. So that happened. Right, so we came in that door, I think. Ted's journal. For an entirely in blue pen and perfectly sized paragraphs is the most depressing diary known to man. Highlights include many thoughts on optimal soccer organization, regrets on his partnership with Bob, and sadness the sadness that his own project and experimental AI program could not get funded. A lab report outlining further tests on the facility's breakthrough test subject, the famed female Ruby Queen Corn. Much more concerning than the last one, as it uses the phrases like can't be controlled, the corn follow her, and much too British. Recommends sequestering subject as soon as possible until further notice. Old newspaper clipping. Local teens win big science award. It's an old newspaper clipping that shows a very young Bob and Ted winning a science award for their for an artificial intelligence prototy prototype. Judging by their demeanor, their partnership hasn't changed much since then. The article will not notably praises the display's slick presentation spearheaded by Bob and completely ignores the sciencey parts which Ted did it on his own. Take a nap. Rankin. Cheap knockoff of well-known decaf coffee brand. Rankin is unique in that it doesn't taste like coffee whatsoever. Instead, the makers went for a taste and texture of old boot. And the only thing that the facility is coffee trolley delivers. All right. What did I get here? Scandal holder carving of Dave, the legendary unicorn brought to life by a hungover demigod. This magical creature possesses near infinite foresight and complete lack of spatial awareness. It fell to its death immediately after it was created. Okay, so I didn't come this way. That's to the bathroom there. I came this way. And I'm going to go downstairs and try and put this on the coffee trolley because it seems like the most logical thing to do. There we go. And away we go. Into the kitchen. All right. Hey, there's something I need: a step ladder and a bag filled with garbage. Because why wouldn't you need a bag filled with garbage? Maybe it was the smell. Maybe it was the way the light caught the plastic. But something about this particular garbage-filled bag caught your eye and never let go. We'll carry it with you always. Collecting all of this garbage will not make you less stupid, idiot. Bob, I don't care how much you love this third-rate popcorn. Stop framing ads and hanging them here. It's stupid. Bob was so enamored with this popcorn brand and its mascot that he framed a number of his favorite advertisements and placed them all over the facility. They were removed immediately by the staff. Professor Poppycorn. Hey, Ted. Just to let you know, I spilled soda on some of your things and put them in here to dry. Nothing serious, just some old moldy photos and papers in your important pile. Sorry. Bob, I hate you so much. What else is there to do in here? Anything? Does not look like it. Oh, craft glue. If you ask nicely, Vladdy can fix the door back to level one. You won't like it, but he'll do it. Oops. Figure that this glue may come in useful at some point once you finally manage to unstick your head from your shoulders. Alright, so 
I guess we're done down here. Why does Bloody have to fixing everything? When is it idiot's turn? Vladdy not even sure what to fix. Is Vladdy supposed to hit stoop? Stupid American garbage built by idiots. Thanks, Vlad. Alright, so we're done in here, he says questioningly. I think we're done in here. Let's run up here and double check. What's oh, so boy, what a mess. Is this place where all the garbage come from? Alright, I don't think I missed anything in here. I didn't see anything anyways. Alright, alright. We'll run around to the other side and double check over there. But I think we're done in this, this particular building. Read all the notes. What else to pick up? All right, we're done in this spot. All right, so I guess we go and drop this off. Seems like the most direct route is to go just throw drop the step ladder off. Or maybe we don't need anything else. I couldn't really I can't really remember if we need anything else besides the stepladder to get where we're going. So I think it's this way. I guess it's probably just a stepladder, right? And we still have the broken cog, but that's another thing, right? So there's that. Now I can reach the ladder. Oh. But he follows you somehow. Oh, that's not what I wanted to do. I wanted to look down in the hole, but it won't let me. Okay. Runoff control. Okay, that's something for the future. Yes. Yeah, something for the future. All right, I think this is new. What is this? living here look very bored. Security quarters. Boring security report. One of many reports written by the lone soldier charged with keeping the facility safe. After reading this, it seems that wasn't a problem. Most entry logs are variations on the phrase nothing to report. Also contains running count of crossword puzzles solved, which number in the tens of thousands. More stupid garbage, idiot. Yes, more stupid garbage. Pizza flyer. Flyer of a local pizza restaurant that looks like it was frequented often by facility staff includes a, a special for their signature quintuple cheese pizza, which it offers to customers for free if they can finish it in 20 minutes or less without suffering a massive heart attack. Now we have a chair. You carry this as a reminder to stop every once in a while and sit, clear your mind, and ponder the meaning of all things. You will never do this, not once, in the course of your adventure. Instead, everyone else will wonder why you are wearing a chair as a hat. Alright, I guess that's all in here. Can go around the side. Can. Hello. Oh, no. I need to get past. Am I supposed to go around the other direction? I must have supposed to go around the other direction. What's this? We got a fuel jug. And a rusty wheel. 
In a quiet moment, you will take this rusty wheel and roll it along the ground, wondering what its purpose could be afterwards. You will forget you have it. <clears throat> Looks like fuel for the tractor nearby. Being the skeptical skeptic that you are, you took several gulps of liquid inside to confirm your theory of one of what was. You were right. Oh, man. too many buttons. The wrench is something you could use to get rid of the chemical liquid that fills the pools. Here's a hint, it doesn't involve throwing it in the pools. I guess we'll go back to that runoff control real quick and see if it fits there. It does. Then we'll go run off the smell remains. Never saw whatever these pools are, but I assume they're over here somewhere. Yep, here they are. Bloody glad he cannot smell. It would be worse than garbage here. Alright. Just <laughs> killed all the trees in the area. Life raft. And a key. Getting a lot of junk all of a sudden. Questionable rock. You're not really sure if this per peculiar rock is a rock at all or simply a very cleverly colored sponge. You've named it Jarvis. Anymore. What does it do again? Goes places. All oh, right. Yes, I remember. Hello. You guys, are just gonna stand there. All right. Well, whatever. What a piece of junk. Tractor seems somewhat prepped. Needs another item to fully be, be fully ready. Toolbox key. Ear. English muffin. Nope. All right. Still think it's weird that it's dragging a propane tank. But I'm no expert on tractors. Maybe that's a thing that people do. I think... This is new. Tea party in progress. Do not disturb. Okay. Um, I think I'm going to stop here for today. And I'll pick it up next time. Thanks so much. See you guys later.